your controller, you need to put in a switching device that changes the like your Y axis to rotary mode to, what, what, to A essentially. And it's just basically a little toggle switch. Yeah. So basically, if you don't, yeah, it just it just converts your front to back motion through and here. Let's go back through the resources again. I, um, I mean, they're very full, so sometimes it's like I do it all the time. I miss a step, so it's like, okay, I'll just double check this. I'll double check that. And then if you send in a picture, like you send me in a photo of like that, that's perfect. I can kind of help figure out where you got things going in. But yeah, give it a, give it a try into here. We're gonna give this away. And I think they we're gonna give this away too. So maybe you should come back and see if uh, you can. But now we have basically one of these motors and the whole wiring harness. It's the same between like the on the board, so you can basically plug and play that motor, and the driver is built into the motor itself. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, okay. so you you could well if you already have a driver in the motor, it basically does the same feature. So I don't know if you need to upgrade or anything, but. The end of it's a toothpick. Oh, yeah. It's tiny yeah. and it survived. The part that really upset me was when I carved that little baby one, I was taking footage of it, I was taking video, and as I brought the camera back across, the camera caught it and snapped it. <laughs> You're going, I, I, saying bad words. Well, and the best part was that was the last shot I was going to take. I was like, you know what? I'll take one more. Snap. This was done on the long mill, kind of the baby brother to this guy. So, and then there's a bunch of other wood examples over there, a little more traditional. I, was wood. I, was I know, expecting that's wood. why I brought this with me. Router and boop, 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 boop. Right? Yeah, I was quite pleased with that one. I'm trying to get Johnny Depp to give me a shout out for Captain Jack Sparrow, but he's too cool for me right now, I guess. So, join the mailing list. Even if you want to keep in the know what's going on, little computer over there, fill it out, check out the samples. Any questions, feel free to ask us. That's why we're here. If, if you've watched the video where I made a shop, a sign for my workshop, there's a little behind the scenes that nobody knows about where I, it just glued itself back together over and over. And it was like five passes. I'm like, this is stupid, Scott. Why did you do this? But we got there. Like you want to run your pump on your spindle? Mm -hmm. You can run it through here, you know, kick the pump on, run it out. You can plug your spindle in if it's PWM controlled. Right, it is. Run it out. Um, if you want to run little LED lighting, you can, like, you got a ring light on your spindle, you can run that. It'll turn the light on. I haven't put that on yet, but I'm going to. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw a friend of mine got that. So it's Ethernet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can run Ethernet or you want, or it's USB C, uh, laser output, tool link sensor output. Oh, that's cool. So there's a lot of features on this board that, you know, most boards don't have. So and it's such that. a small package. Package too, like so. so it's called the super long board. Do you want me to write that down for you? Yeah. With the new controller, we've done a lot of uh, work to reduce like the impact of EMI, and we okay. also have Ethernet connection. Oh, that's yeah. good. The rotary, is this part of yours, or is it a, a third party rotary? No, we designed it completely from scratch, and we just came out with a new version that uses a closed loop motor. Yes, Yeah. great. Like a two-sided job. Basic. Yeah. Basically, it's a two-sided job, but you're using your rotor. To turn it over. But, to turn it but, over. Yeah. And so. it keeps it in its position. Exactly. So you only need to set up the job once. Like on ours, if the, if the machine stops or, you know, motor gets prevented, we lose its steps, it, it tells us about it. You know, give us an alarm. With the closed loop, on the open loop, it's just, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got, you know, software still runs, but the machine stopped. and. You more likely have open loop. It's the the fourth axis is super nice and it's such a clean setup as well. Like yeah, even at work, we were running this with the switcher and I just it swapped it out. We're gonna be giving away the alt mill, but yeah, just as an introduction, uh, we're CNC Labs. I'm Andy. I'm uh, the CEO, co-founder of the company, 
and we're excited to give away the new alt mill. And so if you guys don't know, it's a four foot by four foot machine designed for production and cutting wood and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, if you don't get a chance to, haven't got a chance to check it out, we'll have it in the back room as we take it apart for whoever the lucky person who's gonna take it home. First of all, I just wanna thank the Vector team for having us. It's really great to meet the team and I also really appreciate how amazing the software is. Um, a lot of our users use it and they've said, they say great things about it. We, as a team, we use it all the time and I love the software a lot. So um, yeah, and it's also been really great to meet the community and a lot of our customers and to hear their stories as well. So without further ado, we're gonna have Becky draw the lucky winner. So yeah, let's do a drum roll. I've got Chris Pelletier. Yay! There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, yeah, we'll work on getting that machine mailed out to you. So thanks for uh, thanks for participating. Mm -hmm.